Why My Life as a Teenage Robot doesn't have much continuity. While watching a plot-heavy episode of Steven Universe, I realized how heavily modern-day cartoons rely on plot continuity. Obviously, slice-of-life cartoons such as The Loud House don't really use heavy plot lines, but it's impossible to ignore how most popular cartoons have interconnected plot lines. While My Life as a Teenage Robot was never really considered to be a serious show, I find it surprising how little continuity was in it. Most villains never reappear, and episodes rarely run off of each other. Obviously, there are exceptions to that, but why is it so rare? Well, we need to consider what year My Life as a Teenage Robot came out in. At this time, there weren't many American series which used plot progression. In fact, a lot of shows used the same episodic layout as My Life as a Teenage Robot. It turns out that shows from this time were actively discouraged to use continuity. The network usually wants to pump out episodes in whatever order they get finished in. And since all episodes are worked on at the same time, they could be finished in an order which goes against the plot. This is part of the reason why Steven Universe episodes are released in short bursts. On the Teenage Row blog, an administrator confirmed this, and they talked about how the unpredictable episode release strategy caused a continuity error. Basically, in an episode after Vexus is overthrown, she appears with the cluster again. Obviously, errors like this would completely destroy any plot continuity, so they decided to have as little of it as possible. In the end, I don't think that it's necessarily a problem. Of course, plot progression would be nice, but the show is still great. If it wasn't, why would we bother making these videos? While the original series has ended long ago, it's still important to remember that a fan-made reboot is coming out soon. On their most recent livestream, I asked their leader, Nathan Altenburn, about whether or not the reboot will use continuity. To summarize his response, as Season 4 goes on, there will be more and more plot progression so it will slowly go from being like the original series to being focused on plot lines. Nathan uses Young Justice to explain his vision. Obviously, they've been thinking about this for a very long time. So do you guys think that the original series could have been better with plot continuity? Do you think that the reboot is approaching continuity in the right way? Tell us in the comments below. I've been your narrator, Shane Zoltak. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video! If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment. Or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description.